here at Robert Mondavi Winery, and we're joined by special guest, Chef Jeff Mosier, the winery chef here at the winery. Yeah, yeah at the winery. Let's just get that clear. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Welcome to our kitchen. This is the Robert Mondavi Winery Kitchen, and we're going to prepare two dishes for you today, uh, both very spring-oriented. The first one is going to be an olive oil poached halibut with spring vegetables, and it's a Meyer lemon and kombu broth. That sounds delightful. Yeah, kombu is a variety of seaweed. That's what we have over here. Okay. The broth in there, you can see the, <clears throat> the lamb is simmering away, and it's a uh, braising okay. liquid. And right here, I'm going to cook the, uh, the veggies in some of the same broth that is going to be the, uh, you know, sort of, it's sort of a, almost a soup type dish. So one thing I like about this dish is the vegetables in the liquid that is served with the dish, you know, as opposed to blanching them right. in, just, in just regular water, we're actually going to cook them in this flavored broth. Mm, the aromas are incredible when we're getting here. The lamb, of course, is hitting this side of my nose, and uh -huh. then we've got the broth and the veggies coming in from this side of the kitchen. <laughs> Sensory overload. And the colors yeah. are amazing. That's one thing I was noticing on the table. Uh, you know, we'll get to that in a moment. Just so much vibrancy. Of course, I've seen that since spring. Yeah, yes, exactly. Spring's a great time for vegetables. You've got, you know, we have different colors of carrots in here. We have some spring onions. Basically, I'm starting off with the ingredients that take the longest to cook. And then in a minute, you know, we're going to throw in, we have uh, sugar snap peas, English peas, uh, bok choy, fava beans, baby turnips. And then these other ingredients are all going to be garnishes. So. One of the things that we like to do is we like to use um, the whole plant here. So we're taking things from our garden and we're taking uh, the pea shoots, the actual peas themselves, and then these are actually little pea blossoms, blossoms that we'll beautiful. use as a garnish. And so a lot of these vegetables are sourced here from the winery gardens, correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have uh, an organic garden just right behind the kitchen. So it makes this kind of uh, style of cuisine um, easy for us to do, or it makes it possible. You know, it's almost impossible to do if you have to get these things shipped to you. Right. You know, but we have, uh, we can run out and snip everything, you know, as fresh as can be. So. I had no idea that all this was going on here at the winery. I'm familiar with the tasting room, but oh, it's yeah. like, you know, a whole nother layer. So you guys have quite mm -hmm. a um, intense food and wine program, right? We do, yeah. We have uh, we have a number of programs that are available for consumers. The Harvest of Joy program is a three course lunch with a tour and a tasting, and it's uh, hosted by a person here at the winery, so it's an educational experience. Um, we also do uh, lots of things for the trade, and we do. Um, it's also uh, a place where someone can book a party. You know, we can do catered parties here. We're coming up on uh, the summer season here, which is our busy season. I'm throwing in the snap peas now, and. One of the things that we do here in the summer is every Saturday in July, or pretty much every Saturday, we do uh, concerts. And nice. um, no, yeah, we we've got some. tickets for one of them. Nice. Yeah, we have some exciting artists this year, you know, sort of a, a mix of musical styles, um, something for everybody, if you will. And one thing that we do is here in the kitchen is we do a dinner for 300 uh, right prior to the show. 300 of your closest friends. Yeah, awesome. yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun little uh, <laughs> little event. But that, definitely, I think that would be fun. I mean, I have to look into doing that. So all of these, you know, basically, I, I gave the carrots and the onions, um, you know, about two minutes to get started, okay. and now all of the uh, the quicker cooking things are going in, like the peas, um, the favas. This is uh, some really nice baby bok choy that I picked oh. like an hour ago. Super fresh. Yeah. This is as farm to table as you can get, people. Exactly. <laughs> And we're doing, uh, we're going to serve this uh, this fresh vegetable dish with Alaskan halibut, which just came into season. And that's actually simmering away over there in the uh, the immersion circulator. Or the fish tank. Yeah, it looks kind of <laughs> like a fish tank. Um, so what we're doing is we're uh, doing sort of a quick olive oil poach on the salmon. So we basically put it into uh, a bag, sealed it up with olive oil, salt, and a little bit of pepper, and then we're quickly poaching it in the circulator to a certain temperature. So it gets really, uh, it's really nice sort of delicate texture to it. And it's um, from like a restaurant perspective, it's a, a very efficient way to do it because you're not um, getting a giant pot full of oil hot. You're just uh, heating up just a little bit. So the, uh, the broth here, we make it with uh, the skin from the Meyer lemons. So these are Meyer lemons, which we just pulled off the tree earlier. Okay. And so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of juice in here and the broth's getting concentrated on the vegetables and it's also their cooking medium. There's also a kombu, which is a seaweed in there, which adds a, a nice layer of umami to the dish, which helps everything, uh, helps all the food and the vegetables go with, uh, with wine. I like that word, umami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it basically means, uh, you know, savoriness, deliciousness is the way it's described. Deliciousness. 
So yeah, there's the lamb. So it's a nice spring lamb um, from near here. And we braised it with red wine, um, some stock, some vegetables. You know, one of the real advantages of uh, being the winery chef is that I get to cook with nice wine. Yes. When I used to be a restaurant chef, um, you got, you got, know, what you got less expensive wine, I would say. Like, don't but, cook with the good stuff. Yeah, but here we have uh, an abundance of uh, Well, I always heard nice that wine. you should cook with a wine you would drink. Yes, yeah, you definitely don't want to cook with, with the cheapest wine you can buy, for sure. Right. No, because then, I mean, it's going to impart flavors onto the food. Mmm, done. Fabulous. Lovely. So I think our fish is just about done, so I'm going to start actually plating the halibut dish. Okay. So off he goes to the aquarium. Soon. When the timer goes oh, off, we'll go over there. But what I'll do is, I think it's got like a minute. I'm going to start actually plating the veggie components. So when the timer goes off, we can go We're get the already. fish. Started getting these nice, uh, nice handmade uh, plates from some local potters. It's called Wine Country Clay is their company, and they've started doing some really nice stuff for us. It's beautiful. I love the the variety and shape and uniqueness of each one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all handmade. It's so fun. And I just think I think the food looks so beautiful and stuff like that. You know, you do uh, do nice food in beautiful dishes. It's just sort of another layer of the well, the experience for us. Yeah, yeah exactly. Definitely speaking my language. Oh, Ooh, timer. Timer. All right, let's go get right. it. Grab a knife. So yeah, this is the immersion circulator. So basically, its job is to spin the water at a, a constant temperature. You can set it for whatever you want, even to the you know the tenth of a degree. And like I said before, you know you can use a lot less of the liquid. You know, in this case, we're using olive oil. The fish is going to be super delicate, so we're just going to gently sort of let it roll out there. You can see it's nicely, nicely cooked. You know, it's flaky, so it got a little bit of texture to it. I'm going to bring it back over. Now I'm going to ladle a little bit more of the broth in. Okay. They're so shiny and perfect. Yeah. It does not look like that in my kitchen. <laughs> it could. It may taste like that. It doesn't usually look like that. But you can see, you know, since we just cooked the vegetables so lightly, they're all, you know, really vibrant and the color. And the flavors are going to be that way too. You know, they'll have picked up some of the broth flavor. Okay. All right, so we're going to just take our fish. It's going to go right on top. So how long have you been uh, whipping up these delicious morsels here at the winery? I've been uh, at the Robert Mdavi Winery for just over uh, four years now. Wow. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great experience. You know, I've learned more about uh, the wine business for sure. And, you know, one thing that's great for me as a chef is that they make um, a good variety of wines here at Robert Mdavi Winery, and they make wines that are all very food friendly. Right. You know, the wines are well balanced in and of themselves, so that helps me make dishes that go well with them. So this is just a little chive oil. It's just going to add like a little bit of a zip to the broth. Wonderful. And then we have all of our little garnishes. So you want to put some on? Sure. So basically we're just going to add like a little pinch of the different uh, the different garnishes. You've got, uh, these are daikon sprouts. So it's a daikon radish. This is when they're extremely tiny, obviously. You have the, the pea tendrils there, super fresh flavor. This is a uh, bronze fennel. So it's going to add a little bit of an anise characteristic to the dish. This one going in? Yeah, that's tarragon. Again, a little bit of anise, which is something that I think is going to be nice with the wine. That's probably a little bit more than one. That one will be yours. That'll be mine. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, just keep it. And then you've got a bunch of flowers. This one is a baby Mizuna. Mizuna is a green, um, you know, sort of a maybe a mild arugula kind of flavor, you could say. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. And then you've got all the edible yeah. flowers. And I got so. the pretty flowers. Yeah, exactly. You're not got, just for growing in your garden. You know, you've got the pea flowers, pansies, blue. borage. The borage is the blue one. Um, those are fava bean blossoms right those there. Yeah, that's what you have right there. I'm so excited. Well, I told you we had a treat for you guys. I know we always talk about food and wine pairings, but we're actually doing one today. So we're going to take a quick break. And then we'll be meeting again out in the vineyard room where we're going to put these together with the wines we have featured today. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Bon appetit.